I want to show you how to do a formatting on your hard drive on your external hard drive so right now I have two hard drive attached to my computer and by the way this is a MacBook Pro and uh, I want to format this one terabyte so what I do I press command and a spacebar at the same time so I go to search and on the search I write disk utility I have done it before and I do it so it here you go and it comes here I click on it so it's reading yeah here you go just be careful about this view section you know when you say show only volume it just show you shows you the hard drive that you are working with and if you go to show all devices it actually you know don't worry about this because this is the main hard drive don't touch this but uh, for this section the external hard drive uh, it shows you the device itself so this is good when you have more than one partition in each hard drive and you will see them and even if you want to make all of them in one partition and one disk you can just click on this you can click on erase and it makes you to one partition this one is already one partition so it doesn't matter if I click on this and click on erase or if I click on this it both will be the same but if, if there were two partitions uh, you know and I wanted to turn it to one partition I would click on uh, the main one Seagate portable that is the name of the hard drive that I have so right now I just go on this and I click on erase well I name it one tera because it's one terabyte I have other ones as well with different um, capacities so uh, this is the name that you want to write anything you want then format I choose XFAT because I can connect it to a MacBook Pro and Windows as well so by both of these operating systems or iOS and um, Windows it can be read so I always use XFAT and then you click on erase so this is formatting my one terabyte memory is done here we go so right now it's free you see one terabyte all of them is white here so this the capacity is one terabyte it says you know there's always a little bit of them used um, you don't get exactly one terabyte and then if you want to turn any partition you need to go to this higher level you know remember the view was view all devices then you go to the main one and you can go to partition if you want and partition it how to make a partition in a hard drive so now we press command and the spacebar at the same time okay and we write I just clear it this utility I just okay and here it is click on it it shows the external and the internal the external is the one that we want to the partition I have connected two hard drive one of them is the this one the lazy the other one is a Seagate and uh, I just mentioned it before show only volume shows both of them just the volumes but if there are different partitions you better see this under show all devices there so you can have one device here one partition in one device and then the Seagate has only one partition as well imagine we want to make this one more part more than one partition so we go to this we go to partition and as you can see we need to click on the plus to make one more partition here here, here we have a partition information there is only one partition all of them is one terabyte to make it two partition we need to make change in the format so on xfat macbook cannot create a new fun partition so we need to change it to mac os extended journal 
Okay, when you change the format, then you can change it. Now you can see the plus here. So I add another partition. So now it has created two partitions. One of them has a name, the other one I need to enter here. And here it just made it half, but you can change it. If you just hold this one, you can change the partition and you can see the effect here as well. So one of them has become 327, the other one is 670. You know, you can even add another partition. So now we have three partitions and we can again name them as well. So you can choose them. Any one that you choose, you come, it becomes blue. It is not journaled. Okay, we need to change it to journaled. Right now, okay, it has a name already. This one needs a name. I just say three three six by chance dot slash one and then I can apply it at the same time I can go to the other one click on this and change name as well anything like the second whatever name you want to choose and still while you're here you can always change it and then apply partition device secret media these are the partitions that we have so it's being created it might take a little while Yeah, it's a bit slow is working on it. You can be creative on this. While this is uh, basically make creating the partitions, I will show you over there there is a little shadow. It says first aid. You can always check your hard drive as well with this first aid. And there are good um, tools there that you can use we are just waiting I usually use just one partition and after this uh, creating the partitions I'm going to change it to one partition and you will see how to do that So now it's going to the third part. And here under the shadow you can see that as well. One partition is already there, then this is the second partition. And the third one is being worked on. Here we go. It's done. So now I have got three partitions and you can see the colors and the volumes on each of them here and here this is the view and over there I have four memories here four hard disks but we don't know which one is actually in which device that's why I use the show all devices if I have more than one partition in each of them so here I know three partition is under Seagate and one partition is under Lacey so now if I want to change the whole thing back to one because right now there are three of them right now this is what we were planning so each of them are here and if I want to make the whole thing again in one Hard, one memory, one hard disk, one partition, I need to go to erase here there. So I erased it, I just say one terabyte. The format, I usually do the XFAT because it's friendly with the Mac and also Windows. And then the scheme this is the best scheme you can use so it will work with both Mac and 
uh, windows as well and then just erase it and just before doing this I will show you the security options here you know if you choose the fastest if there is um, some data on this there will be softwares that they can actually bring back those um, data but if you go to most secure you can see then here it will change you can see this option write multiple passes of zeros zero ones and random data over the entire disk it erases the information used to access your file and writes over the data seven times so that would be very very difficult to recover the data um, well some people uh, need um, the more secure one I just go to the fastest here we go and just erase now we are turning back to one partition done so we have again one partition here easy if we go this so we have two hard drives and uh, both of them are separated each of them are in one hard drive each of these utilities you know, if you remember just a few seconds ago just the Seagate had three portion but now it has four and this is the first aid that I just talked about you know it says first it will check the volume of errors it will then repair the volume if necessary so I'm gonna run this now that you're here why not just run it it will check and it's done and it says it appears to be okay so this is something that I like as well. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care.